Stephen Hayes says he's not so much an artist. He's more of a creator. It all started when he was a kid and broke a toy. And from there, I was breaking toys and making toys because I was like, wow, I can break something and make something out of it. Since then, Hayes has been crocheting, blacksmithing, and sculpting. In his series, New Works, you'll find three objects in each piece. A chess pawn, an ear of corn, and a horse with its legs cut off all representing the dangers of materialism. So with me cutting those legs off and putting in different size legs on it, um, it's a symbol for that we're giving everything we need to destroy ourselves. So if I was to take this horse down and put it on the ground, it's going to fall over because there's no three to four legs that are the same length. And Hayes' first exhibit that he created nearly 10 years ago was also on display. Cash Crop features 15 cement sculptures of shackled people, each one representing 1 million of the 15 million Africans taken to the Americas 400 years ago. Hayes says they depict the past, the present, and the future. And then chain them all to a palette, which represents today and how we outsource our goods from sweatshops in third world countries. Cash Crop access the question who or what is the next cash crop. Hayes says he wants his creations to make people think deeper, reflect and ask questions. Even when they're walking through and they stumble on the chain, it's asking the question, are we still stumbling over the past? Reporting in Lake City, Aaron Brown for News 13. No two paintings are the same, but when it comes to Columbia-based artist Lauren Chapman's series, Tigress and the Silver Sea, there is a running theme. And so I've come up with this artist statement right now that's uh, challenging um, tropes in mythological, fairy tale, and biblical stories, and questioning themes that are dangerous to women in those stories, and then building a platform that's empowering females to be the protagonists of their own stories. 23 of Chapman's masterpieces have been living inside the Jones Carter Gallery for the past two months. That includes her Art Fields Exhibition award-winning piece, Queen Califia. And then I learned about this mythological character, Queen Califia, when I was in um, Charlotte. And um, I just really became attached to her because she is like the matriarch. Chapman says women's empowerment is a common motif in her paintings, along with a certain color scheme. I love expressing myself through colors. Um, I'm very inspired by Lisa Frank. <laughs> and so that's where a lot of the stars come from and the bright colors that you see. And although Tigress and the Silver Sea is moving on to the next exhibit, Chapman says this isn't the last you'll be seeing of her paintings. Reporting in Lake City, Aaron Brown for News 13.